everyone, today I'm going to be filming a bronze summer makeup tutorial. So first I'm going to be taking the Instant Age Rewind Primer by Maybelline and I'm going to put this all over my face. Oop! Mm. My foundation is the L'Oreal True Match in the shade N3 and I'm going to be mixing it with the Maybelline Dream Bronze BB Cream. This is in light medium. The one thing about this foundation is it doesn't have a pump so I'm just going to tap some on the back of my hand. Do you think they can hear me on the camera? If they can, I'll keep it in. Ah, Alright, shh, I'm going to do something hello, else. Hello, Lucia's friend. <laughs> but I'm talking now. <laughs> and I'm going to be mixing in a little bit of this bronzy shade. Now I like to mix this with my fingers while it's still on my hand and then I just dab it on before I rub it in. It's really important when you're using something like this to make sure you get it on your neck because at least for me, my neck is the one part of my body that doesn't really get tan so it's often just like this odd whiteness within the tan of my body so I always make sure to blend it onto my neck and I put it on my neck just so I don't forget because it usually does need a bit more blending than usual when I am tan. I am taking the Real Techniques buffing brush and first I blend my neck just so it doesn't dry on my neck. I'm blending it down my neck making sure that I get it on my jawline so that there will be no harsh lines because that is not cute. I take a long time to buff in my foundation because I think it's really important to make sure that your foundation looks like it's really buffed into your skin. England has just interrupted your video, Lucia. Alright, shh. <laughs> For concealer, I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. I just do a swipe of that under my eyes. I'm blending this in with the e.l.f. blending brush. I'm now taking my foundation brush and I'm just going around the edges of this to make sure it blends in with my foundation. I'm going to set my concealer immediately since it's so hot I don't want it to crease. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I'm taking a Sonia Kashuk blending brush. I'm taking a little bit on the brush and tapping most of it back into the container and just setting my under eyes. I'm now going to powder the rest of my face. I am using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 04 Sandstorm. I'm going to be taking an e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush and I'm going to be using a lot of powder because in the summer I find that my face can kind of look like it's melting a bit and that's never good. For bronzer, I am taking the e.l.f. Pressed Mineral Bronzer in the shade Tan Toffee. This is a very nice warm bronze. I feel like it gives a nice sun-kissed glow to the face and it's perfect for this look. I'm taking this on an e.l.f. complexion brush. I'm dabbing it and then tapping off the excess because this is very pigmented. And I'm just putting this... Wait, here, what is this called? Like, when you suck in... The hollows. Oh, the hollows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have known that. <laughs> I'm sucking in... This. I'm putting it in the hollows of my cheeks. For blush, I'm taking this Sleek Palette in California. I am taking this shade right here. I believe it's called Newport Peach. I wouldn't say it's too subtle, but it's also not too pigmented. And I'm taking an e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. These blushes are cream, and I find that cream works the best for summer makeup looks. And the ice cream truck is outside. Can you guys hear the ice cream truck? It's you can hear it, it's really loud. Once I put on this blush, I always go over it with my foundation just to make sure that it kind of blends into my skin a little better. And then I go over it again with the blush brush to get some of the pigment back. That might seem redundant, but I don't know, it works for me. For highlight, I am taking the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter 
in Moonlight Pearls. With a Real Techniques contour brush, I'm going to get a lot of this on the brush and then put it on my cheekbones. I'm about to zoom you in for eyes, but before I do that, it's getting kind of warm in here already. I'm going to set my makeup with the e.l.f. Makeup Miss and Set. This is such an amazing setting spray. It keeps your makeup locked in for a long time. So I'm going to close my eyes, spray it all over, and then I kind of go like this to make sure it dries. I zoomed you in very far because next we are doing eyes. I'm first going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. Alright, this is where the bronziness really comes into the look. I'm going to be using this 17 Instant Glow Gold Bronze Shimmer Strip. Uh, shimmer Brick. This has really, really amazing shades. I'm going to be taking this copper shade and this gold shade. Is that focusing? Yeah, there we go. The bottom two shades. I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to mix these colors. So dabbing it into the copper and the gold. I'm putting it all over my lid. Sometimes you can tell that one color is kind of standing out more than other color. This time it seems gold is a little bit more there than the copper, so I'm just going to go back in with the copper shade. Don't worry if it looks messy because we're going to blend it all out. I'm going to be doing the same exact thing on the other eye, all over the lid. I'm taking another Sonia Kashuk blending brush, but a different one from the one we used to set our under eyes, and I'm just going to blend all of this out. And I'm not going to use a crease color. This is the only eyeshadow I'm going to use. You really don't need a crease shadow because it really looks good just like this. Guess who's back? Back, 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 back again. Back again. 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 <laughs> now you guys know I don't really do anything to my eyebrows, but I'm just going to comb through them with this brush, like an eyebrow-ish brush. I usually use something else, but I forgot it downstairs, so I'm just going to use this. And I'm just going to like comb through them and make sure that they have a decent shape. Okay, eyebrows done. I'm going to move on to eyeliner. I'm first going to do a winged out black eyeliner. I'm using my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. You can see that I just did a winged out eyeliner and I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. The next thing I'm going to do is something I've been doing almost every day in my makeup routine. It gives an amazing pop of color that screams summer. I'm going to be taking some blue eyeliner. Blue eyeliner? Eyeliner? Blue eyeliner seems to be all the rage now. This is from Kiko. It is the Intense Color Long Lasting Eyeliner in 14. What I do is I start on my waterline and I put it on my waterline. And then I kind of go out of my waterline and I draw a line. Then I take this smudger on the other end of the eyeliner and I just kind of smudge it out. Sometimes if I smudge it out too much, I'll go over with my concealer. I'm going to do that today just to show you what I would do. I take an angled brush and I just take the tiniest bit on this angled brush and I put it over where it was smudged out too much. And I blend that in. This is as redundant as when I did the blush, but then I kind of go back over with the blue again because a lot of the color is lost and I do a much, a much thinner, more precise line this time so that it doesn't get too much. The reason I like to do this is because it almost gives like an ombre effect to the eyeliner. Like it's not just blue and then it stops. It kind of, I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of like 
fades out a bit. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye and then we'll move on to mascara. It looks really good for me. Thanks. For mascara, I am taking the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Mascara. I like to wiggle the brush and kind of wiggle and turn it onto my lashes. I find that that gives the most volume and it separates the lashes. For bottom lashes, I'm just ever so slightly going to put a little bit because I don't want it to smudge. I zoomed this back out because next I'm going to do lips. For lips, I'm just going to put on a lip gloss. I feel like with the bronzed eye and blue eyeliner going on, I don't really want to attract that much attention to my lips. I'm going to be using the Tanya Burr lip gloss in Smile Dream Sparkle. This was given to me by my friend Kira. If you missed that swap video, I'll link it down below. She's on Skype with me right now. She's like, she's like, yeah, represent. Can you hear? Here, Kira, say something. Hi. I'm gonna just put this on my lips like this. As you do with lip gloss. Alright guys, so that was everything for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. Bye! Bye! <laughs> I totally forgot. I forgot to do the inner corner on camera. I just used that same shimmery shade from the 17 uh, Shimmer Brick thing. So I'm an idiot. I forgot, but I do that too and bye!